G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Shapes IO, the wires update. Okay, so straight off the back of the last episode, we've been making these shapes here, which is coming along nicely. Um, but I want to take you into part of the production and just show you what I've just done off camera um, because I was having a little look at it. Uh, so it's called More Fans, and this is our big fan factory. And look at this. So we had 10 to lots of five of these. these. If we look at the end pr producer, we had five and five. And I wasn't happy with the way everything's moving. I mean, you gotta check all these little necks and make sure they're all working nicely. I've worked out a pattern here for four and four, and it doesn't give me a full belt, which is interesting, because I think I just need to put another one on. So four, four. So at the moment, we've got four, four and four, three lots of four, but I think with four lots of four, it'd be absolutely perfect. But what I've done, so basically I've got one, two, three, four, and then, so here we are, these last four end producers, we look at the last ones, and right down there, they've got their own feed, and it's a full belt. The next four, one, two, three, four, and they've got their own with a full belt, and another one, so we need three full belt um, fillers uh, to, be, to sort this out completely. So, and I've started doing it like that, but I haven't used a storage down here, and then I've duplicated basically back up exactly the same thing, so now we've got this line, this semi semi full belt of stars, semi full belt of stars, more than half full I think is, is what we're looking at if you look at it after the last output. And then that goes into the storage and straight away it gives me a full belt of what I need but it gives me a backup as well. So these storages are fantastic. What a brilliant, brilliant way um, of ensuring that when you click over the levels and you get the speed upgrades, it all kicks off. So I'm going to, uh, I just want to show you that and I thought that was a nice little bit. Uh, why don't you enjoy the Stitch Up intro and I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so we're back in the game and now I'm just following this line up because we've now got a full line of these um, of these guys. I don't think it was an issue because I think the problem was where the painting is. Um, but let's just uh, go into map mode just to get up here a bit quicker and we'll start to see where it branches off and then gets painted. And of course, we've got a bit of nice little bit of um, filling up happening there as well. I'd like to see what the capacity of those guys is uh, at some point. 5,000. There we go. 5,000. That's a nice little number, actually. I like that. I like the idea of 5,000 of those being in something, so that would be quite cool. Now, what I'm going to do, this is backing up, so we need a storage. Okay, so what I'm just going to do here, guys, is I'm going to put a storage in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put one in just here. Uh, I think that could be good. So let's put one in there, and that'll just ensure a full line, but also ensure that what's below fills up to the point of 5,000. Then we can simply put another storage in, say, here. Is that right? And we can get 10,000. Would that get me 10,000? Both of them start filling up. So it gives me a capacity of 10 grand. That is really cool. Okay, so that's nice. So that's an instant way of just, just getting a nice full line and making sure that these guys sort of definitely rock and roll. So this is a nice flow happening here. Um, what's happening here? You've got the 5,000 backup of these guys, do we? Are we getting a... Yeah, we are getting a backup because that was blocked there and this was just filling up. So that'll all happen in the background. Um, that is quite nice. So what we can do now is... Um, we've got to look ahead of the storage and see what's happening there. So up at the... Uh, up ahead of the storage in this here. The problem is the white circles. So this is good. These guys are full, um, but the problem is the white circles. Uh, I'm going to just add in a storage here. Um, and I'm going to put a couple of storage breakers in, one here and one here, and just see, allow this one to fill up as well. So that's quite nice. It'll keep this line moving, but allows this guy to fill up as well. I must not overdo the storage. So white circles now needs to be mass produced and I think the problem is I split a white circle line into two different um, two different two, sort of two different uh, two different ones so I've got two white circle machines here one goes off to here and the other one goes down to here and this doesn't get a chance to fill up but then it's so it's one kind of full line but the problem is it splits off into two so I need a third I need a third white circle one don't I so I need white paint and I need another white paint machine basically. Uh, so if I look here, my white paint is simply here. And to get white paint, we need these. 
these machines okay so let me see about getting because I got a white paint white paint and I need to get another white paint don't I so I could do it over here can't I yes I could so let's do it over here and we'll bring the colors yeah let's do another white paint in fact hmm I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start planning for the future here, guys. I'm going to start changing things a bit. Let's do this. All right, we left a little gap in there. So let's now make white paint. Always go. Hang on. Actually, no, white paint can go there. Let's make ourselves a little white paint collector right here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so if I go uh, storage, ooh, here we go. Sorry, if I go to here and I go storage, um, my white paint is going to be here. And I'm going to do a couple of them. But I'm going to do them like this. And just see how this works. So one input in is going to be there. Yeah, and that'll just keep going in and storing up. And then uh, another one in here is going to be like this. Yep. And then the two outputs are going to be here. So there and there. That's white paint and there'll be a nice full line. And that's good. Now I want to bring in a third white paint line, don't I? Yes, I do. So I want to get extra white paint. So let me go and create another one of these. So let me do this. And I can see what three I've got going in there. So let me do that. Uh, do I not have enough? Yeah, I do. I do have enough. Yep. Okay, let's make a nice little gap here. And we're going to do it just say, uh, let's make it... Let's make it just there for the moment. Okay. Um... Right, so this one is going to be basically like that. Okay, so white paint's going to be there. Now, let's have a look at the input. So it's one, two, three from the top to the bottom. So we've got red on the bottom, then uh, green, uh, then blue. Uh, where's the yellow? Why have we got yellow? Oh my god, we have yellow. We have to do the yellow. Okay, cool. So, um... Oh no, so green, yeah, yeah, yellow is an intermediate that just spins around on this lane. Yeah, so green at the top, which we need, we know we need green at the top. So let's do this. Um, and in fact, I think just while I'm here, beef this out. Uh, is that giving me a full line? It is, yeah. And let, while we're here, let's also, uh, let's also go like that. Yep. And then I'm just going to try and get creative with this one. So I'll go, uh, let's go here and then uh, two and then <laughs> got to hit the, hold that one. Yep. Three, four, five, six. And then I want to go, um, let's put an extra one up there for now and put an extra one down here for now. Yep. And this is the green paint. And I think the green paint can just simply come down here. and then straight down to there. Right, so green paint is in the top, yes. Then yellow goes through. Uh, the next one we need to add in is blue and that'll go into here. So let's add blue paint into there. There's blue right there, which is lovely. Uh, again, with these guys, we're gonna do, um, let's do uh, there, but then turn this one in that way, there, and then do one there and there okay that gives me nice full lines and I'm just gonna do if I can so let me do seven uh, one two three four five six seven I'll do eight why not uh, right and now need that to go here Oop, one down would have been good that's fine uh, radio now let me go through here let's go through this one and let's just do it to there. And we can head straight down. And we are putting him into... Uh, what's going in there? Just look at the template again. So you need the red. 
the blue goes in right down the bottom. Ah, the blue goes right down the bottom. So it's red into here, blue into this bit. Okay, good. So blue goes into here, uh, but we need red into this bit now. So let's look where red is. Uh, I want red to come from up here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go, so it's all right next to it, actually. Let's do this. Yep, and that, so we know where we are. Um, okay, and I think it's in line with this. It isn't, it's in line with this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, just overdoing it. And we can put our storage there if we need to, uh, if it backs up a little bit. Actually, a storage there could be good. Let's put one there, because it will back up. Gives me a nice full line. Okay, and I want this red to go to uh, here. Yeah, so the red can do this. This is perfect. And it's going to be that. Nope, not that one. Um, it's going to be like this. So zoom in a bit. Let's go to here to here. And now we should have an extra white paint. Uh, and I want it all the way down, thanks. Yeah, cool. So yellow now circles in and the line fills. So we get two, then three, three, four, four. Nope, no, nope, we got a bit confident there. Um, but now the blue starts moving, which means we get white in. So that's good. So if I see that, I've got basically one, two, three white paints now. And now if I scroll across, my white paint situation here is two full lines but it is gonna start filling up a little bit because it's getting three full lines now. Reasonably full lines, sorry. These fairly full looking lines. Funny, this one is quite full, but this one isn't. But I wonder if my new line is starting to fill up. Yeah, maybe, maybe it isn't. It seems to be a full line there. This doesn't. I think I might have to just check. Uh, my ratios there. So that's all right. We are starting to get a little backlog. Now what's happening is I'm getting white paint now, so the white paint situation is tripled, but now I need a third run of these white circle producers. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is, yeah, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to copy this whole thing, and I want to see, yep, if I do that, and leave a line in the middle, and put him there. Okay, so there's another white circle producer. Um, so that'll be that. And I need to basically put white paint into, so I forget this. So I need to see if I can now create a, a third output onto this. So what I'm going to see if I can do, I don't know if this works. Um, and in fact, I don't know if I've left enough room either. So this is interesting. Let's get rid of all this for the moment. And let's see if we can then go, um, I don't know if stacking these is a good idea. <laughs> uh, let's try this. So we do this. Okay, let's go there and there. Now I've got four outputs. Because what I want to do is I want to go uh, one, two, but I want to put a third one down here. Okay. Um, so let me do you from there to there. And then let me see if I can get you gone and then go um, actually what we'll do is we'll do this we'll go uh, here to here here to here and here to here and allow you just to continue as normal right and then that would be there so white paint white paint white paint and now what we need to do is bring in the white paint into this here So, can I get this to go like this to this? I can. Paint goes in here in this bit. Right, so the white paint's going in. And now, I want to see, did I have a storage? I do have a storage here, but it's not doing anything. That's good, because I want to put the storage a bit more south of this now. Just for aesthetics, I could have lined it up nicely, but I won't. I'll just put this like that, and say you're going to go into there, and the next one will go into here. And this, what it does now, is gives me a bigger supply of white circles. Um, but I'm still only bringing one line down, so I might have to just do a double line and have it as a balancer. Now, I need to make sure my circles are looking pretty good, and the circles are, are stopping there, which is quite nice. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see here, if I do this. So let me try with, um, let me try with, say, uh, uh, this 
this, 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 and this. And that flicks them around a little bit. And it, it basically gives me an extra line out. Um, and then I'll do uh, this to this. Okay, good. So we're really building in redundancy here. So if I do that, now what I've got is a separate supply of white circles. So if we have a look here, this is a nice, this is a nice line moving down, but we want these to be separate. So you'll go to that one fine. And then uh, the other one is literally going to do the same thing. The other one's going to go off and um, yeah, the other one is going to go here and to here. Oop, not that one though. Uh, and to there. Right. So now we've got supply of white circles, but doing its own thing. And I've also got the ability to make a fourth line of white circles coming out. Uh, sorry, another line of white circles coming out. So it's not bad. I see that these guys are not overfilling and they're not even supplying a full line. So this is interesting. I, I think it's prioritizing the right hand belt. And then, yeah, look at that. It is prioritizing that. So when you, can we, yay. So I think we need a wire. So when we get the wires, we'll be able to say to it, um, equally fill both. Um, but what we could do at the moment is change this and actually just put a distributor here. So this is like this. All right, now it'll give, now it'll evenly distribute them out. So the storage is still there, but it evenly distributes them out, which is interesting. It's not exactly a full line that I have there. Um, and I don't know how to get that at the moment. I think I need to, what have I got? White circles. And where's the other white circles? Aha, that's because the, th ah, so the white circles at the moment are going into two separate areas. Well, let's do for them what we did for these guys. So let's rebalance this as well. Uh, so we're going to run the white circles. Uh, so they're here. Uh, I'm going to run them. Where do I want them? Okay, let me see about this. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's do, let's do the same thing, uh, but different. So we'll face them downwards and we'll go here, 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 and here, right? And no. So white circles, ooh, what's happening here? Why are the white circles coming out? We would have to put a balancer there, wouldn't we? Ah, we'd have to put a balancer there. When you've got three, you need to balance. So we'll do uh, that. So every second one goes in. And then I'm going to balance these guys as well. So that's interesting. I'm trying to balance all three there. So that's the circle situation. We might need to stock up the circles. I think the inputs for those need to be beefed up. Yeah, we need fuller lines of circles. So again, it's, all, it's working back on your supply chain, I guess, is what we're trying to do. And now I need the other one to come up here. So let's make you a bigger one. Uh, let's make you sort of like, uh, where are you heading that way? Yep, to, to as far as you can, like that. So the circle still works. Um, but what we're going to do is make you go to there. You go to there. And now this guy... If we go uh, here to here and here to here. Right, uh, now what stopped? Something stopped. Okay, white circles, white circles, white circles. Ooh, something stopped here. Paint is not going out to there because nothing is getting out to this one. Aha, uh -huh. so we need to basically put uh, two splitters here and here and that brings the white supply in for all three so it's stockpiling somewhat yeah look at that that is really it's interesting i think we'd need yeah i think it look it's it's making them flow again um it's interesting there with, with this little situation i don't know if that's the best thing to do um, but for the moment, that's how we're going to do it until we get the actual wires where we're going to get into the actual controlling of things um, and we can set rules at that point. God knows how we're going to do it. But yeah, now I've got a third line here. So what I need to do is I'll just let me do uh, let me just get myself uh, this. So say there to there and there to there. Yep. So you continue doing what you're doing. And now. The next thing is uh, this guy is going to be up here and this guy's going to be there and this guy's going to be there. Okay. And it's doing the outputs. Now we're going to have to balance those. 
Uh, where we got... Yep. Okay, white circles are going that way as well. That's for Blueprint here, I believe. So I think they're going to have problems here. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go... Um, 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 um. Alright, that should give me a better line. I think I've got a backlog there because I stopped it, so I've got to be a little careful. What happened here with this one? Don't know, but I don't want to put him in the line. Just, yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay, I've uh, got one sort of uncoloured circle in there. Okay, cool. So what have we done this episode? Not a lot, but we have balanced out a few things. So now, I believe you're two full lines here. So now I'm looking at a full line of white circles, full line of white circles. Ooh, not really. And there. Okay, so I really need more, more in, don't I? And this is going to be the case where you see if you've got the white paint coming through. And do we? Is the paint getting through? It is not. Is it? The paint's not getting in. So is this the fact that the paint is just not getting into it? Yeah. Okay, if I put a balancer here, would that work? Hmm. What about if I put a balancer here? Would that work? That might help it. Seems to be speeding up this bit now. But it's robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay, so we'll have a look at this. <laughs> we will have a look. There's some maths coming in here. But I do like the idea that it balances out a bit. I'm not a big fan of these balances coming out of it. This part, I don't understand. But this bit I do like. And I like the backlog. Um, you're right. The green is where it's going to prioritise. It's always going to prioritise that left output, which is kind of interesting. So uh, what we'll do at the end of this one, this has been the episode of balancing and uh, expanding. Um, let's look at the circles here and just make sure we've got a nice little happy circle factory. I, I'm not sure we do. I think the best thing we could do here is... Um, so we've got that. Uh, I think what we need to do is, ooh, yeah, let's do, say, uh, is this white, is that the, aha, uh -huh. right, let's get rid of all those, let's do this, goodbye, all right, let's do this, um, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, and then we'll go five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, let's just go six. And take one off there. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Is it one, two, three, seven, eight? And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the same thing. Uh, yep, we'll just do two lots of eight. Two. Okay, so that's them. And then I want to go. Um, sorry. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Uh, and then. Actually, seven, eight. And then we've got circles here, I forgot about. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, and then into its neighbor, six, seven, eight. Right, okay, good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, storage, and I'm gonna try and do this a bit different. So let's do heading upwards, right? So let's do storage here and storage here. Two separate storage. And let's lead these guys to there and let's lead these guys to there and then this one is going to be uh, here and this one is going to be here so now we've got the storage happening and then it's going to be one output and one output so let's do uh, this one is the left output and it's there and this one is the left output and it's there that works because you're still getting the backlog 
and we've increased production somewhat and we've balanced things a little bit as well so I think that's better we've gone up from six to eight we we're on a previous um, sort of iteration there where we had six um, extractors going for each line we've now moved it up to the maximum eight well not maximum but what the quite a I don't think we even need eight um, so that's all quite good uh, shall we put a counter on there just see eight yeah eight a second so eight a second means that it's moving just beautifully so I guess maybe that's what it's saying it's saying to get this thing going beautifully you need eight extractors is that how it works I think so I used to be able to work all that out then it, then these tools come in and I couldn't kind of work it out anymore okay that's good uh, I'm just going to put the balancer on here if it's a uh, belt reader is uh, if I do the belt, what is that? Eight a second. Yep. So let me see. So this should be, if it's perfect, it should be on eight and this should be on eight. Yeah. So they're good. Okay. I'm going to put this belt reader down a couple uh, and just keep this up just so we can see they're different because they did look like they were joined to each other as it goes up, 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 up. 6.3 It's going to get up to eight. Look at that. It's catching up. Um, slightly lagging there. See how it drops back a bit? And now it's catching up. Okay, cool. So we 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 increased the supply of the circles there, which was nice. Um, and the circle supply is back up and running, which is good. Um, and we need to just make sure that this one gets some because he really is. Well, he's getting some there, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, so that kind of works. Um, but we'd have to make sure we've got full white belts. Basically, wherever I want it, I need a full white belt. Um, and that means we're going to have to really up production. I think um, yeah so uh, let's just have a quick look around for the end of the episode let's just go and check out these and make sure so that was one two three four five six so he needs extra and he needs extra so I think this might help us let's go uh, one two three four five six so seven and eight and then seven and eight so now you've got full red belt full red belts that's lovely. Uh, let's move up to the blue. We did the blue already and the blue is nice. Uh, the green, we did it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you hover over it, it all works. It all just, it shows you what the what the, the link is. So that's that one, that one, and that one. We've got three. Uh, why? Because uh, we've got two systems there, three there. Uh, if we go up here, then we've got one, with eight, 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 and then we've got these guys with eight going into a storage. So that's kind of nice. And I'm going to plan for the future here and just do exactly the same thing. Uh, I'm going to put that, uh, say, there and just go like this. So it'll start to fill that up. And that, that I think is a good good thing to do. So that'll just be red paint ready to go. Full A full belt of red paint, all balanced as soon as we're ready to go. Um, and I wonder if I could just be clever and just do this. So it just keeps it going, but if there's ever a hold up, it stores it for us. And um, can it store two products? I don't want to try it. Imagine if I just, I was going to put it across there and see if it would store two different products, but I don't think it would. And of course the output as well. You've got the output. So that would be, that would have been a silly thing to do. Okay, so I think that's good. Let me see if that helped us. It might have been the red that was holding everything up. Uh, let me see, that's a full line of white, but this isn't a full line of white, and that's because of these guys. No, they, they're still moving. They're not waiting, they're moving. Yeah, this is almost a full line here, but I don't know what the problem is. What is the problem? Oh, um, we've got one, one going there, we've got one going there. This one here just... Uh, I wonder if, ah, uh, ha, huh, maybe we need to do this instead of there. It needs to be there. Okay, that's, that's, I think that's better. Do uh, this. So now we've got full belt, full belt, and uh, yeah, it's sort of, because we need three lines, basically, of circles, not two. So we could run a, we could run an extra line out and see if that works. Could we do that? I think we can. Yeah, we can actually. So let's do this. Let's do that. And then, uh, yep, no, that would have worked. Uh, let's do ooh, this. And... Uh, 
This will work actually. Let's see about this. So the circles are coming up. There they are. Nope, no, not there yet. And circles into there. I can get rid of all this now. I think the balancing is a nightmare. So let's get rid of this. I think it's not the way it's designed to work. But I will have now one, two, I should have three separate storage, shouldn't I? So what I could do is go like this. Uh, we've got three there, so let me do... Ooh, you need to move across though, don't you? Um, these are just three lines, so I think we're good to do this. Three full lines. There we go. <clears throat> so I don't know if we've got three full lines here. Yeah, because we have storage at the production side of it don't we we do we do we do let me get this in at the uh sorry the uh what is it i tried to say production sound cool i meant to say extraction so the extraction point has the storage yes it does lovely nice 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 um watching that one because it's still giving it out to this nicely though uh, 3400 in each as well it's weird because i uh, i had one going in two going out and i think that um but anyway, it's three full lines. We're getting reasonably good throughput on all those. Um, and now that means I should be getting much better. Uh, and again, I don't think I need this. This whole this whole situation here is not good. Um, but I'm trying to store these guys. No, I should run them individually. So I think I've learned the lesson there. Don't do that. Just do this. So do this, this, and this. <laughs> uh, do this. Yes. And then I can, now I can start to look at what the issue is. And if you want to have, I think the best thing is if I want to have storage, I have them separate. So when I do it, I think what I could do is I could see full belt, full belt. And it's this one up here is now, now I can actually see what the problem was. And every now and then you get one of these. Why? Oh. Oh, yeah, let's stop that. <clears throat> what is happening here? Uh, have we got belt bleed happening? God. I don't know how that happened. How long has that been going on for? That's why we could see those guys earlier. I forgot to do that. I had to bleed them out. You get this little pollution at the end where they... Yeah, where they do that. Okay, good, good, good. Right. Um... Yeah, they'll just go. They'll get rid. Okay, let's see. So what do we got here? Full belt. <clears throat> Reasonably full belt, which is not too bad, but we can go back and have a look at what the issue is. And again, these guys are just holding up there so we can stockpile some of them and it'll keep a nice, a nice belt going. And we can actually do that like this. We've got a bit of room here so we could do this. Uh, let's just get rid of these three lines and what we'll do is we'll put three separate storages Just a, just playing around with the storages again, aren't we? Uh, we're gonna put one uh, say Here one here and one here and these are independent So it's gonna be doesn't matter which one goes into which as long as they go into separates But it's always going to be the green line which comes out Uh and for aesthetics, do I want it to do this instead? Yes, I do. Okay. Is that slightly? Nah, it doesn't. It's never going to look good. But it just, any backlog there will just slightly grow. So it's a nice little circuit breaker one. It's also getting us used to using things in the wires update and starting to get us to think about, you know, the little green symbol here and what we want to turn on and off. And it gets us a nice little gentle introduction to it. So I think that's all coming along nicely. Uh, let me just check in. The episode's almost over. Uh, just check in here about this, though. This one we didn't do in this episode. But to do it, it unlocks the quad cutter. And we want to use the quad cutter over here at more fans um, because I could redesign this and cut him. Yeah. I could I could redesign this whole thing and have a new more efficient one I might have a mark one station uh, factory and then a mark two uh, factory a better build and just have even more fans coming out and the fans can go into massive storages and that could be great this is sitting at a maximum storage anyway so we've got full lines there we probably need to run two separate storages here and just keep it like that and I think we'll do that um, there's always something to do in this game isn't there 
let's run this to here instead okay so that's your input and then let's run this to there so that's you um, and then and then I suppose we could just do this for now and then blend them but they're never going to get a chance to do that but this one will fill up and we'll start to get the other ones uh, again, I don't know, I've started using balances again, so who knows. But it means everything above is just a nice flat run. It, everything's full, at least until it runs out. So that's kind of cool. This has been a good episode. I'm really happy with how things have come along. I think we've streamlined the whole uh, operation. Uh, I think we could decommission this one uh, fairly soon. He'll be gone. Um, probably next episode, decommissioned. And um, we'll start to look at... Uh, um, which belts need support. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of uh, Shapes.io, the wires update. Um, I'm Stitch Up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the very next episode. Cheers.